away with Sail Away, the sailing simulator. This came out in early access. I've done a stream of this. I just played a bunch of music because I have no idea what you do with this game. But this finally came out on early out of early access after 10 months. And, um, this, this game is... This game is cool, but it's 30... It's 40 bucks! Not cool. 40, oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot. It's, it's 40 bucks. It's... Oh, sweet baby, Jesus. So, what do you do in Sail? The Sail Away. Or Sail Away. The Sailing Simulator. Well, that's a good question. Um, you just sail. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. That's, that's all you do. Uh, but goddamn, look, look at it. So pretty. Look at this boat. But we're, we're going from Seattle. Where are we going here? So, Sail Away is a kind of an MMO. Mo sailing game? So I, there we go. Here we go. So, yeah. So what that mean is that everything is in real time. We got a one world here, Earth. I don't know if you heard that. That's where I'm from. I'm actually in Seattle right here. Um, so what this is, it's just, again, it's just a sailing MMO. Like, it, that's all this game is. I feel like 40 bucks is way too much for what this game is. Uh, unless you're, like, really extremely into sailing um, and know about a lot about sailing. Uh, let's see here. Because there's different modes. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So, let's see here. We got GPS. This is our coordinates. UTC, uh, Universal Time Code. Uh, we got Latitude, Longitude, uh, Wind. By the way, don't the way... I, I don't know. But, like, they do a really good job at presenting this stuff. Again, if you have no idea how to sail, you can still play this. You kind of, like, also drop, like, 40 bucks at this game. I want to stress that price point the most. I think this is not a bad game. I don't think anything they do here is bad. This is a pretty interesting game. I think that's, like, holy shit, somebody actually just made a fucking MMO sailing game. Um, they do have weekly events. They do, there is a strong community about this, but, again, 40 bucks for this game, uh, when there really isn't much here. So, anyways, let's, you can set your trim, you know, this, this stuff, if you know what this is. I kind of know what this is, mainsail, uh, the Genmaker, uh, we also have information about, like, wind shadows, all that. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. You can also change it from auto navigate when you're offline. Uh, you're constantly sailing, even if you're offline. It, you can set up waypoints like I have right here, and it will follow those waypoints to the best of it can. You can actually have it set to, hey, send me emails every day, send me emails every four hours, send me emails when it hits a waypoint, send me emails every four days. And it'll send you an email, a pretty cool email, uh, saying, hey, your your vehicle, your yacht move, your boat move, you know, X amount of nautical miles. Uh, it's it right currently in its position right there. Um, and it does a good job at that. But it's just... I don't know what you do. You can also have... You can also have people join you in, in sailing. Okay, so we have... This is... Okay, yeah, here it is. So when it's offline, uh, set auto-navigation to your main... So it would just keep heading this way. This will maintain the wind always to your... To an angle to the wind so you have maximum speed this will just navigate by uh waypoint yeah and then we can just drop anchor and so with this uh it's gonna put the boat into the uh wind and then just stop completely but we can also let's see and then we can also drive it here there's all sorts of different things in here too okay actually let's we're gonna have to get rid of some of these settings here there's not much in terms of visual fidelity uh, camera. Uh, we could probably turn off that FD alias. That's pretty much it. Um, tons of resolutions. Let's go back in here and resume. But yeah, it's like all these things are movable. You could do stuff. There's there's this. You can all move by mouse and wheel. There's, key, there's keyboard shortcuts. Um, you can also teleport. I don't know what the white and the difference between the white and gray. I think gray is offline. I think white is online. 
Look at all these boats. I think you'd only have one active um, boat going, too, in the world. So there's also a complete chat here, too. Um, there we go. How do I how do I chat? In, there we go. So we have VHF within 20 nautic models. We can also do talk to the people on our boat. You can also just talk to everybody online um, and just saying, hey, how you doing? Uh, let's see. Anyone on the line? Nah, that's not how you spell online. And then, like, you could also just look at other people. Uh, let's see here. Let's get out of here. Crap. It's not, there we go. Uh, we could click on people. You get their information, stats. Uh, I've seen people drop, like, you know, been sailing for about, you know, 20,000 nautic miles. Active since uh, November. He has sailed 58 thousand miles uh miles per day 361 miles uh you know races one so this guy's won a race he's complete competed uh in um nine disqualified in uh one uh challenges there's some challenges but like there's a lot of back-end stuff a lot of people try to get real what is this is this his crew for boat okay uh, badges, Early Access Pioneer, Hardship Challengers. So there are challenges, but again, they're kind of also pretty hard. I can just, like, send this guy a message, show the position on the map, add this guy as a, uh, add him. Some people actually have seen post their real pictures here, which is kind of crazy. Um, did we get anybody? Let's see. Anybody say anything? No, nobody said anything. Uh, I'll use this. Uh, uh, yeah, I, f I figured that. I figured that. Just wondering if anyone was just alive. At the screen. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess uh, that guy was also right there. Okay. There's also different boats, too. Um, let's see. We got this guy right here. A 38... Ocean Cruiser, Mini Transit, a 52-foot catamaran, uh, the Nordic Flock Boat, a 50-foot performance yacht, and the Caribbean Rose, a 52. So, pretty great. They, they wage from, I think this Mini Transport is pretty, it's pretty small. This is, this is a really small guy. Um, let's just drop anchor here. Stop uh, anchor. Uh, uh, sometimes it's a little bit confused. Where are we? Uh, we're we're still outside of we're still in Hawaii. Um, but like in terms of like interacting with anything, there really isn't anything to do. This no, go away. Um, like you're not like doing missions or anything. Of course, there is challenges, but you're not really doing really anything. Um, oh, we're off Kauai on the Nepal on the uh, out here. Uh, it, I mean, it's taking in weather data and mapping data from you know outside. Uh, it takes in real world weather. So if you look closely, did it pop up? Pops up. Yeah, you can see this is where the wind is. There's also websites out there that you can see where the um, you know wind is coming from. Um, you know, also, hey, I, I took this there, a couple months ago, a little while ago when Galveston was getting hit, a while ago, um, I was like, hey, let's see what happens when I take this, her, this, um, this boat into, you know, Galveston. And it was pretty crazy. I think there's a, still a threshold, but in terms of like what you do, again, it's not much here. If you enjoy sailing, you want to interact with other people, you know? It's, it's, yeah, that's cool. I just wish there was more to do. It'd be really cool if you could, like, set up missions in, and, you know, it's like, hey, yo, or, like, like, every, ever simulator game. You know, you have Flight Simulator, you have American Truck Simulator, you have Truck Simulator, Euro, and American. There is something to do. You're, you're doing something. And, you know, in Flight Simulator, there's, there's some challenges. You can do stuff. You can, like, fly around the world. In this, there really isn't much to do. Um, so they are 
activities. So you got tutorials, which, like, will tell you the basics. Of course, like, all this stuff is real world. Like, this stuff, if you know anything about sailing, you probably could play this game. There's also competed uh, races. Again, but that's just not enough. You also got to remember that sailboats are not fast, and you're kind of here for the long haul. Uh, if you set it out a track, you set out your waypoints, it's like, you're not going to really do much, too. Um, and so what kind of challenges do we have here? Your first trip, so that, yeah. Um, all sorts of different stuff here. Um, and leaderboards, like, it does a really good job of a lot of this stuff. So the, the bearing, so this is around the, um, the, uh, the bearing. Let's see, um... Cape Verde. Okay. So, the, it, I mean, these were estimated in distance, four to six uh, or 15 nautical miles. Like, it really does a good job at some of this stuff and, like, doesn't do anything bad. It's the problem I have. It's just pricing so much. Um, and they do have weekly events here, open invitationals. So, these are weekly. Um, they're pretty active. The community seems to be pretty active. Again, I just want to stress that point a lot. This is a $40 game, and there really isn't much here. Um, I, I really kind of discouraged by this. Uh, so, the yeah, here's one. Wait, no, this is from 2017. Let's see here. Let's go over to the latest one. Is this the latest one over here? Okay. Official races. Okay. You got official. You got community. Oh, community player created. The sounds are pretty good. There's also, I supposedly, um, uh, supposedly, uh, life. You, you'll find dolphins in some of the videos, uh, photos I have. There's seagulls out there, which is kind of cool. But it, it's, it's just not enough. It would be really cool. Like, when I first played this game, this is practically the same game I played, like, you know, seven months ago. Um, there really hasn't been much change. Of course, they kind of changed it up a little bit in terms of visuals and, and cleaned up a little bit. But there really isn't still anything to do in the game. Um, like having, like saying, hey, uh, maybe like a couple hubs where, where you know, you build this little infrastructure here. And you can like actually send out people and like do tours. Like have a tour. Because that's what you, that, that's a thing you do on boats. Um, you know? But it, it's just racing. Uh, it's just racing. And, of course, it does a really good job at all that. And I think this is a really cool game. But, sadly, uh, there's too much. It's, it's, it's too much um, for 40 bucks. That's uh, it, it blows my mind. Is this, a is this ocean current, too? Is it taking an ocean current? This has to be ocean current. That's crazy. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. I wanted to put this video out because, like, I think this game could be fucking cool. Um, right now, in its current state, out of early access, it's kind of boring. Uh, unless you're really into sailing and you... But that's such a niche thing, but I guess you could say that about a lot of simulator games. I mean, look at the train simulators. Um, it, but, again, those things have things to do. Um, I think it's really cool that it's just this open-world sailing game. I think that's really cool. Um... I really think the developers have something really cool on their hands here, but that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, I, I can be here all day talking about like how this game is pretty cool. Like, like going in, let's, okay, let's, uh, let's, let's teleport. We can teleport anywhere too. Um, uh, let's see here. So yeah, you can just teleport anywhere pretty easily. Um, actually, I don't want to use this one. I want to use the, another one. Uh, boat. Let's do the high performance one. Oh no, we use uh, this catamaran. Catamarans are big ass things. Okay, we're in Hawaii too. Um, so it, you know it does real lighting for for the world. So you know if we go over here, we can teleport. Night. Of course, it does real lighting of uh, of the stars. There's the moon, some landmass over there. And let's just, uh, let's just, let's just sail by the uh, wind. Again, it works offline and online, okay. And it will do it automatically. 
there's workshop support for custom stuff. Um, let's see here. Uh, game play. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. You can also tie your account to this. But it's just... Oh, shit. I thought those were mountains over there. Those are... That's water. You can change your... Customize your boat. You can't go in your boat? That would be really cool. That would be really cool. So we got all sorts of different... You know, it does a good job. I'm just rambling. Like, this is, this is cool. This game is really cool. Um, and I just think... It's not really cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you guys have any, like, questions or anything or, or critiques about the video or, or the game, make sure to say them in the comments. I'll put a Steam link down below for the game. It is 30 bucks right now for out of early access, but it's going to be 40 Ugh. Holy shit, that's, 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 oh god. Um, it's not a bad game. I think it's just an overpriced game. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Join our public Discord if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one.